This right here is a little bit of a cluster f <laughs> This right here is a little bit of a cluster um, piece of crap. Hey, I'm Cody. In August of 2022, I found a school bus posted for sale online and I decided to buy it. I've slowly been converting it into an RV every chance that I get. There's been a lot of ups and downs. One thing for sure is that it's been an extremely rewarding process. So if you're into schoolies, DIY, and a little bit of adventure, then this is the channel for you. Follow along as I make this school bus my home. Hey guys, what's going on? Cody here from Escapade Made. So it is 1042 Saturday morning. Beautiful day out, absolutely gorgeous day. It's like 73 degrees. It's not hot, it's not cold. Perfect day to work on the bus. So um, I actually came here last weekend and started doing some electrical ripping out. Um, I got very little film of it just because I was so nervous and I was just like, I need to focus on making sure that I don't screw this bus up. So let's go inside the bus and see what we got what we got done. So as you can see, the electrical in the bus is hung up by extension cords and it comes all the way down here and up into there. So why are we doing this? Um, because I have so much unnecessary wiring in this bus. In fact, I weighed it out. It's approximately 20 pounds. Um, just wires. What are all these wires for, you might ask? Um, so these are school buses that are owned by school districts. So a lot of times they'll have like emergency systems in there, like one of these buttons down here is to turn on the emergency lights, like whenever buses will like stop in the middle of the road, put the lights on, open up the door. I don't need those lights. Also, there was like GPS stuff in there. Just a bunch of different stuff that was really just unnecessary. So I was able to remove a good chunk last week. Now, guys, if this is something that you're gonna be doing, I need you to realize that this can be a very scary process because if you cut the wrong cord, you could potentially make your bus not start. There's things called like interlocking systems in these buses. And basically, if you cut the wrong cord, the entire bus will not start and you have to figure out which cord you cut and go back in there or call out like a dealership mechanic and that's super expensive. And yeah, I've heard horror stories. So I wanted to make sure last week that I was focusing primarily on that. So I was able to, this is actually the cleaner version of the panel. I was able to clean this up, but there's just a lot of stuff coming in. Like this is coming in from the engine. This is coming in uh, from the blinker. So Guys, we don't want to mess with this too much. We just want to clean it up. So luckily the bus still starts. All my blinkers work. In fact, a few days ago, I went and got some diesel for it. So we're looking good. So guys, what we're going to do today is label everything. So we're going to finish up getting out a few more um, cords, just like in the back right there. A good majority of the cord removal is done. What we're going to do today, start, wire, or start labeling this. Like, what, is, what does this go to? What does that go to? What does that go to? The reason we're doing that is because goodness forbid something pops up six months, 12 months down the road. I want to be able to know what the issue is, how to diagnose it, and then fix it. So guys, let's go ahead and get into that and we will start doing that right now. Hey 
guys, just want to give you a quick update because um, I know a lot of times with time lapses, you don't really get to see the details. So I want to try to be as detail oriented as I can with this while also just getting stuff done. So I have kind of gone through thus far and started just labeling different areas. So green is the right signal or basically the right turn signal over there. Um, white is the clearance. Yellow is my left signal. And the reason, the way I'm finding this out, it's super simple, okay? So I started right here. I know that my left turn signal is right there. So now I know that this is my turn signal. So if you look right here, looks like we have, God, light. <laughs> we have two yellow wires. And then all we do is just follow these wires up, follow these wires up. So I have a labeling area right here. I accidentally wrote right at first, but yellow is left, so left turn signal. And guys, we're just following this all the way through up here. And so I have this labeled right there. I have another little label area right here, another little label area right up here. Um, and then just label these right here. And then guys on the outside, you'll see I have my uh, kind of outlet box, electrical box, and all of my stuff is label so it's not rocket science you just have to be very methodical okay the keyword here is methodical so um yeah guys so we're gonna go ahead and keep kind of knocking this out but i just want to give you guys a quick little update <laughs> Alrighty guys, what's going on? So I think, I think I went ahead and successfully labeled um, each wire that I have going at least to the back of the bus. Um, so guys, now that I'm finished, I wanna check one more time just to make sure the bus turns on, all my lights work, and I'll show you kinda what I do with that. We're gonna go ahead and start this bad boy up. Immediately the lights are coming on, so that's a good sign. Okay, so it starts. I'm going to turn on the flashers. And I know the flashers are working because that light is blinking. That light is blinking. And up here, those lights are blinking. Um, let's go ahead to the back real quick just to make sure everything works. Blinking lights. Blinking lights. Let's go to the side. Make sure those lights are blinking. Might be kind of hard to tell, but it is blinking right there on the side. It is blinking right there on the side. Now I'm gonna press the brakes real quick. Press the brakes to see if it does show up. Boom. Now I have my emergency brake on, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into neutral. Or sorry, reverse. It's technically in reverse. My reverse lights are on. I'll press the brakes again. Brakes work. My lights are on. So that might be kind of hard to tell because it is the middle of the day. My lights are turning on and my clearance lights are on as well. Let's just go ahead and put this in a drive real quick. See if we can also take off just for an extra added measure. So we're gonna put this in the drive, push in our parking brake, see if this moves. Yep, we're moving. We love it. Put it back into neutral. Yep. So we are, we're good to go, guys. All the lights are working. That is pretty much it for the wiring portion of this build. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a like, um, follow along the journey. Um, if there's anything that you're seeing that I'm doing that you would have done differently, let me know. I'm always open to um, suggestions. So guys, that'll do it for this week's video. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day and I will see y'all out on the road, baby.